Hi everyone, friends, family, followers, welcome to your Geeky Girlfriends Bookie Babe book review series. And um, this video is going to be number 12 in the video series. And I'm going to be reviewing Sarah Dessen's Saint Anything. This is also one of the more recent ones. This one was released after Once and for All, um, but before the rest of the story. So this is like her second most recent a um, little bit on the thicker side. Um, Jodi Picoult um, did a review of it um, on the back. So that's on the back there. Um, the merry-go-round on the front kind of symbolizes the theme of life constantly in motion, constantly changing, always going around and around. Um, and then here is just the hardback without the sleeve. Um, this book is about a character named Sydney whose friend or not friend, who's, um, she was always really close with her brother. And again, I've said in my other reviews, Sarah Dessen has a beautiful way of writing in tragedy and grief into every single one of her novels. And in this one, the grief comes from her brother, unfortunately having to go to jail. I'm not going to say why that's for you to read and find out, but she is for the first time dealing with the separation anxiety of her brother and her parents, not really knowing what to do with themselves now that her brother is serving that time. So um, she kind of is dealing with an upset family dynamic for the first time. She's not really sure what to do, um, but she makes friends with a new family in town um, who own, um, I believe it's a pizza restaurant they own. I could be mistaken. I Some of her books kind of run together, but I'm pretty sure the family owns a pizza restaurant. She ends up going and hanging out there one day after school doing her homework, and she meets this family that kind of just takes her in. Um, and Again, same with all of her other novels, strong female lead. Um, this one is also one of the more adult ones, deals with some adult um, punishment, hence her brother going to jail. Um, so it kind of deals with, again, those adult emotions of tragedy and grief, um, but focused in a teen. I read this one as a, a young adult. I was in my early 20s when I read this one. It was just a few years ago. Um, and it was another one that I read pretty quick. Um, again, not my favorite. I can't really describe why it's not my favorite. It's just, it doesn't top my all-time favorite. Um, I still just have one that's the best and I haven't found one that tops it yet. And that's okay. All of her books are good. Um, this one, I... Um, in terms of a rating, I would say it is more suitable for older, you know, mid high school or f so 15 to 18 range is probably the, um, suggested age. I read it in my early twenties and enjoyed it. My sister was 18 at the time and she read it and she enjoyed it. Um, so it's kind of, it could be enjoyed by all like people of all ages, um, in that age demographic. Um, there's really not much to the story other than that. She meets this new family. They kind of take her in and she does different things with different members of the family um, and kind of struggles between like, is this her new family type of thing? She kind of has to go back and kind of own up to the fact that she hasn't been spending time at home, but that's her way of, again, dealing with this grief and this tragedy of her brother. Um, so it's just, I would say, an, again, another seven and a half, maybe eight out of 10 book. Um, I liked this one better than some of the other ones um, that I'm going to review in later videos, um, like something about forever and what happened to goodbye. Those ones are lower on my list. So this one was better than those. I haven't reviewed those ones yet. Um, but it's just, it's still not the best that she, that I've read that she's ever done. So there's still that top spot. Um, but this one was good, solid. I think actually I like the rest of the story a little bit better than this one. Um, and I gave the rest of the story a seven. So I would probably say this one's like a six. Um, cause I like the rest of the story better than this one or the rest of the story would be like an eight. Um, so you would have to go check out that review, but I think I liked that one a little bit better than this one. I liked once and for all better than this one. So it kind of falls in the middle. Um, good book, solid, good character development, good hand, like good strategies for grief and tragedy. Um, but I, I wasn't blown away. So this one's probably a six out of 10 for me, but still a great book, still a great author. She's highly renowned by Jodi Picoult, People Magazine. Um, so this one would be a good one to start with. I would say this is a good one to pick up. You could probably still find this one in stores. 
um, particularly Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, they would still have this one. It just might have different cover art because this one's one of the newer ones. And this would be a good one to start with. This would kind of give you an idea of what kind of writer you're dealing with when you pick up her um, books. So drop in the comments what you want me to read and review. Um, so far, I've done five Sarah Dessen books, and I've got about five or six more to go. They won't all be uploaded right away because I'm trying to find those physical copies of the books to show you guys the cover art. Um, but go check out all those videos. I hope next time you're at a bookstore, if you see a Sarah Dessen book, I encourage you to pick it up and then that'll broaden your library so much. And she is just a truly phenomenal writer. I love her work. Um, and I encourage everyone to read her. I've tried to get my whole family to read and most everybody has positive reviews. So, um, take this with what you will and do with it what you will. And I will see you guys in the next video. Drop me those comments and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.